Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video, we are going to look at isotonic regression. And we'll look at the intuition behind what is isotonic or monotonic and uh, how the isotonic regression looks like uh, following with a uh, code snippet and then we'll do a coding. So what is isotonic or monotonic data? It is a type of data which is either continually increasing or continually decreasing so if you have uh, x and y so as x increases the values for y they either continually increase stay the same but they never decrease and increase alternatively the values of y can continually decrease but or they can stay the same but they cannot increase and decrease so as we look at in this particular plot on the left hand side, we see that uh, this is not monotonic because here we see that uh, the magenta dot shows an increase, but then there is a decrease and then again increase. Whereas the, the plot on the right hand side shows the isotonic version where as X is increasing, Y increases, stays the same, increases, increases, stays the same is the same and finally again increases so that's an example of uh, what isotonic or monotonic data is and let's say we have a data set as shown on the left hand side which is uh, where it seems that the values for y seem to be increasing with x uh, but then uh, it's not uh, uh, they, they, there are fluctuations, so the data does go up and down. So the data itself is not monotonic or isotonic, but then uh, we can always fit, uh, is we can perform an isotonic regression to get an isotonic fit on this type of data. So on the left-hand side uh, plot, we can see that this is a linear fit, uh, which is just a straight line passing through the data points. And chances are that if the data has a particular trend, uh, the linear fit may not be able to capture it. And we'll see the example of that when we do the actual coding. So uh, isotonic fit regression would fit a line shown by the orange dots. As you can see, the predictions, they increase, stay the same, increase, stay the same, and increase. So uh, it's kind of a, uh, stepwise linear fit so as uh, uh, the values for x increases it is able to capture these uh, steps uh, as the uh, values for y increase so with that now look let's look at the code snippet here the library that we are going to use is isotonic and similar to before we have the x train y train x test and we can fit uh we can create a variable reg and then fit using this line uh reg dot fit which uses isotonic dot isotonic regression and here we can specify increasing increasing is equal to true or false the default is true which means that we are trying to fit uh continually increasing fit if uh, we are looking for continually decreasing prediction values then we need to specify uh, false in this particular case so let's get into jupyter notebook and see how we can implement this here in jupyter notebook i've imported these libraries which include the isotonic library and then uh, these are the versions that i'm using now, in addition to this, the data uh, that we'll be using, there are two data sets, very simple data sets. Here we have X and Y, and then we have another uh, where we have the X train, Y train, and we'll try to predict the Y train using the X. So the very first example that we'll look at is a positive, uh, positive values. So how the values uh, of Y increase with X. And we'll see how we can predict those using the uh, using the isotonic regression method. And for that, we'll use the data one that's up above. So a very simple way to uh, 
pred do the prediction is the straightforward scikit learn uh, approach which is creating a variable first reg is equal to isotonic dot isotonic regression and here we can leave this as default which would be increasing is equal to true reg dot fit uh, x y and then we can predict y pred is equal to reg dot predict uh, this is x and here uh, we have uh, just x and y so we can create a data point here that says x test so we can use that np dot array and this could be 0 0.3 and other one is 0 0.75 and why don't we do plot this so plt dot plot x comma y and marker is equal to a circle and when we run this this is the data we have uh, the data set uh, the data to which we are trying to fit the model may not be monotonically increased I'm going here I'm showing that it is and on this particular uh, data set we are going to perform the fit and the prediction so we'll have the predicted values here using the y pred and then we can plot all the values so plt dot plot x y marker is equal to o and the plt dot scatter and here we can predict uh, we can uh, plot x test and then y pred uh, again here uh, we can change the color so I'll change that to R and here we can see that those two are the predicted values for Y for the corresponding X values and as we would expect uh, the predictions are good now we can uh, perform the same uh, type of fit or negative trend negative and for negative trend then uh, the only difference we are going to make is to the value of y so instead of y we are going to use minus y and so that should change the plot and we should get a different output now one thing to note here is we need to specify increasing is equal to false so with that then we get a plot which is here the y is then decreasing now here we predicted just two values uh, what if we have more than two values so let's now look at one example where we have several values and we are trying to perform a isotonic regression so more values and in this then uh, we have our x train and so we can let's plot that plt dot plot x underscore train y underscore train marker is equal to zero uh, marker is equal to o and then we have alpha is equal to 0 0.25 now with this we can uh, see how the data looks like so that's how our data looks like now to this we'll try to fit both linear regression as well as isotonic regression so first we'll perform the linear fit so for linear model we have reg is equal to linear underscore model dot linear regression and then we can perform the fit reg dot fit x underscore train dot reshape i'm going to reshape this uh, here y underscore train dot reshape so we have the data in columns minus one one and after this we can predict so y underscore pred is equal to reg dot predict and here we have x underscore train dot shape so uh, we will use the same x train for uh, predictions as well so we'll plot on the same set of data okay so this is what we have for the uh, linear regression so i'll add those lines here in the plot as well so we have plot uh, and with 
along with this original data we can plot the predicted data which would be just a straight line so x10 would stay the same what will change is y underscore pred and because this is for linear fit i'm going to add a underscore linear there and then we do not need a marker so we can change the color and i'll change this to a gray color so that's the fit we have where we can see the gray line which is a linear fit and what this particular uh, fit misses out on is this trend that initially there is a, uh, a rapid increase in the values of y and then it uh, tapers off a little bit now to capture that trend uh, we can use isotonic regression and for isotonic model the change that we need to do is in this line so we can type isotonic dot isotonic regression and this is increasing is equal to true that's the default value and for this we do not need the reshape parameters in there uh, if we kept them i think it wouldn't have mattered and this would be uh, a different y prediction value so i'm adding y underscore uh y underscore pred underscore iso and now with this let's change this color to maybe green color and if we try to plot this so let's change this to again iso and here as you can see these are the predicted values for the isotonic regression and we can see that although the actual data fluctuate goes up and down the predicted values never go down they are either the same values uh, that is denoted by the horizontal line or they are uh, increasing as denoted by this upward uh, angle line so that's uh, what would happen if we have a data that's moving in positive direction continually now on the reverse side if we have data that is continually decreasing so i'm going to change the value of y to minus y again uh, here we fit on minus y and then predict this again we fit on minus train minus y train and we try to predict and then finally when we plot we need to change the y train to minus sign and when we run this again as we would expect the linear fit uh, again is the, not able to capture this trend now as you can see the isotonic is a horizontal line and that's because we need to change uh, we need to change this value for increasing so because this is true it, it is expecting increasing data trend and here now once we set that to false we see that it is able to capture the decrease so there is an initial rapid decrease and then uh, it uh, starts to uh, level off a little bit so that was it for this video uh, i hope in this video you got an intuition about what is isotonic or monotonic data what is isotonic regression and also hands-on experience on uh, a toy data, data set where you can apply the isotonic regression to get uh, reasonable predictions uh, for the y values if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below please like share and subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video thank you